What is going on everybody? It has been quite some time since I've made a video. Um, I've only got 17 minutes and 42 seconds on uh, available space, so I'm going to have to go pretty quick through this. Um, just a pile of stuff that I needed to show off. Um, this last round of eBay bucks, I picked this up because it was cheap and my eBay bucks covered the cost of it. So, had to get it. I already had one, but beautiful card from 2013 Tops 5 Star. This is the uh, rainbow foil on-card autograph number 20 out of 25. Don't have the best light right now because I'm doing this in the evening as the sun is starting to go down off to my left. Um, but it's beautiful outside here. It's been really, really frigid cold and nasty. And then the last few days it started to warm up and I even drove with the top down today. So pretty wild stuff. Um, up next, got this card. Um, I haven't really been picking up anything much other than clay at all, but this card uh, caught my eye from 2017. Yeah, 2017 um, Impeccable. Or, uh, yeah, Impeccable. Uh, this is the Impeccable Victory Autograph from January 8th, 2017 of Randall Cobb. On card autograph, jersey numbered. 18 out of 25. Um, the cool thing about this card is um, it's game dated. It was the Packers 38 to 13 victory over the New York Giants in the playoffs. And Randall Cobb caught three touchdowns in this game, one of them being the Hail Mary to end the first half, which was just nuts where he got behind the whole defense and just caught it. So really pretty card there. I, lo I love Randall Cobb. I'm going to miss that guy when he's gone. Um, this one I may have already shown, but might as well show it again. Uh, this was from 2015 uh, Topps Definitive Collection. This is the green parallel dual on-card autograph of Clay Matthews and Jordy Nelson, numbered 1. I don't think I'm getting very good focus today. Numbered 1 out of 10. I just really don't know how this video is going to turn out, so sorry if it's not very good. Um, up next, I got one super cool freaking package from Hamburger Ron. Um, Ron sent me a message on Facebook asking for my address because he said he had some uh, clay cards he wanted to send my way. And I gave it to him and he sent the package out and it went on a heck of a journey. It, uh, it went several states away that it shouldn't have and then it finally showed up. But he sent me a badass little lot here. Um that they're just really nice cards and I needed them all for rainbows um, but this is from 2017 certified this is the base numbered out of 499 213 out of 499 he sent me the orange numbered 79 out of 299 then these cards I had not seen any of these in person yet and they are truly beautiful um, this was from Origins. Uh, he sent me the red parallel, numbered out at 299. These cards are really, really nice. Can't tell in this light, but Origins and his name and the team name are all in um, uh, hollow foil. Really super pretty cards. I'm always a fan of the art cards. But he sent me that one out of 299, and then he sent me the blue out of 60, number 20 out of 60. So, super nice cards there. And then these three he sent me. These are ridiculous. Uh, 2017 Rookies and Stars. This is the blue parallel. I, the parallel, I'm guessing, is based off of the color up here. But this one actually says True Blue, which reminds me of the old days of uh, when I stopped collecting baseball back in 97, 98. I remember the uh, True Blue parallels. Uh, and the baseball products but this is a true blue numbered 15 out of 49 and then he sent me the red parallel numbered 18 out of 25 man I am just not focusing today 18 out of 25 right yeah 18 out of 25 and then this one this one's ridiculous this is the black version 
black up here in the rookies and stars. And right down there, numbered one out of five. That is a ridiculous card. So, Ron, cannot thank you enough for these. This is awesome. Um, I have the 101 mirror black of this. So, these two are going towards that rainbow. The Origins cards, I have another one to show off here next that I picked up because you sent me these. And these, I'm going to, I'm keeping my eye on these parallels too because, um, I know there's a ton of them. Um, so I gotta, I gotta keep, uh, an eye on which ones I still need. So thank you very much for those. He, these are awesome. I love the numbered stuff and that's really what I've been picking up lately. There's not been a whole lot of ink, um, cause there just really isn't much out there I still want, but the numbered stuff, I love building my rainbows, um, which is where this one comes into play. This is the Origins Green Parallel, numbered four out of five. That card is truly pretty. Love that one. Team Colored Parallels, always the best. Um, up next, we have this one here. This card popped up. I had never seen a copy of this card, and this one popped up in a PSA um, slab. This is a Jim Mint 10 2014 Select Green Prism. Wish I could get the light on it. It's so pretty. And that is numbered 3 out of 5. That's a ridiculous card. That card is so pretty. Love that one. Got it on auction, and I got it for not much more than the cost of slabbing it, so... I, I made out really well there. I got it cheaper than I thought I would have paid for the card raw. So I was pumped about that. Um, this card here, I've had this for quite some time. Um, but I just never showed it off because it bugged me. Um, but Luke, Drunk Trojan, who will be coming back here in the next few weeks. And can't wait to have him back and for him to show off everything he's got on deployment. It's been just nuts. Just a few things I know are crazy. And I know there's like... 10 times as much that I don't even know about. But um, he purchased this redemption because I, I forgot to bid on it. And he ended up bidding on it and won it. And he got it super cheap. And uh, I don't know. Is that what this one is? No. That was the... I'm completely retarded. That was the uh, Pantheon uh, redemption I got in a while back. This is, I forgot, I bought this redemption and submitted it, and this is how it came uh, from 2017 Immaculate. Um, beautiful product, but Clay had autographs in the Jumbo Relic set. Um, but I entered the redemption, and it's numbered 1 out of 25, and it's a really pretty card. A nice, nasty chunk of Pro Bowl patch, but my pet peeve... He's not in the uniform. He's not in the Pro Bowl uniform. Not only is he not in the Pro Bowl uniform, he is in the special Thursday night color rush uniform. So there's just a lot going on with this card that just does not go together. So I just never even posted this card on Facebook or anywhere. And I've had it for uh, probably a month close to it. But I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I may keep it. I'll just throw it in the box, or I might try to move it, maybe trade it or sell it. We'll see. But that's that. And then lastly, I'm going to show these off. Um, I started building the uh, Optic Rainbow because the green popped up on eBay for a ridiculously cheap buy it now for what these cards go for. I remember what I paid last year for the green, and it was a lot more than I paid for this. But uh, the green popped up. So I bought it. Well, then the gold popped up for a cheap price as well. So I bought it. And then somebody contacted me through Blowout and said, Hey, I have this gold vinyl 101 from Optic. And before I put it on eBay, would you be interested in it? And I'm like, well, hell yeah, I'm interested in it. It's freaking awesome. So we came to an agreement on a price, and I got it in, and from there I just started buying these up because I'm building this rainbow. And uh, I'm going to show you what I have so far. I've got the base card, not numbered. I've got the orange prism, and that is numbered out of 
199. Then I have the red prism, and that one is numbered 52 out of 99, which is uh, jersey number. So I love that. 52 out of 99. Then I have the purple. I bought the purple, the orange, and the base card in a lot for $3.50 by now. So I could not beat that. Um, getting this purple one. That one is numbered 21 out of 50. So even just getting that card for $3.50 alone would have been nice. But the other cards were just like freebies to me. Um, so I got that purple out of 50. This one came in today. This is the black. Which is a beautiful card. I, I love the looks of uh, the blacks. And that one is numbered... 15 out of 25 so great card there here is the gold and that one is numbered 10 out of 10 Paul Smith P Daz special right there golds are pretty then my emerald my green and that is numbered 1 out of 5 and then the big boy, the gold vinyl, which having zero backlight right now, really killing the looks of this card. That's unfortunate because it really is a beautiful card in person. And that is the, come on, man. I am just not doing good with focusing. It's not wanting to capture anything because of how dark it is, but that is the one on one. And I have the light blue out of 199 on its way in i have the blue out of 149 coming in so the only one i still have to get is just the base prism refractor card and i'm just waiting on that i'll eventually pick it up oh and another one that they released in the panini uh points rewards packs the white sparkles and the white sparkles are believed to be a print run of five, is what they typically advertise them as. Is out of five, maybe out of ten, but typically they're viewed as being out of five. Well, I won one of those on Tuesday night when I was in bowling. So I have one of those coming in. And then Wednesday night, I won another one. And then today I bought another one. So if there's only five, I've got three of the white, three of the five white sparkles coming my way, and I'm gonna, I'll buy the other two if I see them, or however many pop up. As as long as I keep seeing them, I'm gonna try to buy them because I love the looks of the white sparkle cards. So yeah, that's my video. I went through those quick because I knew I only had 17, a little over 17 minutes to shoot this video. Um, on my storage my computer died so i haven't been shooting videos and i don't even know if i'll be able to get this one uploaded but uh my power supply my computer went out and i just haven't replaced it yet so my phone is bogged down with memes and pictures that i typically just transfer all to my computer so my phone stays empty and i can shoot super long videos can't do that today and uh so yeah that's my video i hope you like what i showed lots of uh clay numbered parallel stuff only a couple autographs um i'm just really enjoying picking up all the uh parallels because that's the big part of my collection that i really like and we'll see what uh national treasures has to offer for clay i'm not sure i haven't looked at the checklist if they even have one out yet um so we'll see we shall see he had nothing in contenders in because they decided not to make a base card for the sixth year in a row because Panini's a bunch of dickheads. They'll put them in the college product, but they will not put them in the NFL product, meaning I still do not have a cracked ice season ticket of Clay Matthews in a Packers uniform, and that is truly, truly irritating to me. But I guess there's always next year, but we'll see. They may cut him. Uh, heading into this season he may not be on the team and that would be about the time panini would put him in a product next year in another team's uniform because that's just how that works but anyway um hope you all are doing well i'm doing great 
Um, yeah, so I will talk to you all later. Bye.